at this point, I'm developing this uh, color tint scale through the greens, and I have to make a transition into the warmer elevations, or at least the warmer colors that indicate the higher elevations. So I've gone with this ochre, which uh, is really bringing to life this whole color business that's going on in this map. So this is a good benchmark, this uh, yellow ochre. Um, I'll be able to include more yellow into the uh, next tint down or up, whichever way you want to look at it. So that you'll have these nice bright yellows going into some nice bright greens. We're working with color, so it might as well be uh, as vibrant as possible for viewing from a uh, fair distance away. It also gives it a much more alive and organic appearance rather than the flat colors that one would ordinary ordinarily be looking at in a uh, printed map atlas. So I guess in that sense this is a bit more of an art project or a painting project than it is strictly a uh, topographical illustration. See how close you can get up to this Simon. I don't know how how you how far you can zoom in and keep it in focus. Does it appear like it might still be in focus? Yeah. Paint's starting to get a little bit dry. Hence the drag on the brush. And this is a small brush to be using in this big of an area, but it's good for cutting in. And it also gives you a little bit of